Welcome to Friday Wrap Up. This is your boy Eclectic Enigma. I am also an amateur eyebrow glued on artist. That's right. Anyway, today's show is going to be pretty excellent. So thank you for tuning in. And let's get this thing started like always with the Miller Please Awards. So the first award goes out to two people. It's actually a joint award. It goes out to Stacey Dash and Ralph Peters, both on the Fox News. Check out what Ralph Peters said about President Obama. Well, first of all, he keeps speaking about we can't give in to our fears. Um, you know, don't be afraid. Look, Mr. President, we're not afraid. We're angry. We're pissed off. We're furious. Yes. Yes. We want you to react. We want you to do something. You're afraid. I mean, this guy is such a total pussy. It's stunning. And now check out what Stacey Dash said about President Obama. It's ridiculous. And his speech was an epic fail. It was like when you have to go to a dinner with your parents, but you have a party to go to afterwards. That's what it felt like. He was just trying to get through it because he wanted to go to this event afterwards. You know, I, I did not feel better. I didn't feel any passion from him, like you said, Andrea. Mm -hmm. I felt like he could give a sh excuse me, like he, he could care less. He could care less. Obama's a pussy? Really? The Ben Laden slayer is a pussy? He doesn't give shit? About anything, Stacey Dash? Right. Gotcha. So for you two, folks want to pop off? Here's a list, or <laughs> short list of the top terrorist leaders that Obama has taken out since he's taken office. So Friday, wrap up fam, did you know that Fox News has some uninformed, ignorant, hating ass trolls? Everybody knows about that. Really? Oh, yes. Check out this map. It has Muslim killings on it. Radical Muslim killings, mind you. And all the other killings. Notice anything here? Right. So Stacey Dash and Mr. Peters, continue. Folks want to pop off? If you want to. Stacey Dash, that's why your melanin is being deleted. And Mr. Peters, you continue to stick to writing thought-provoking books for children in the womb. Hello, please. Next Nilla Please recipient goes to an Irish reporter with her over-the-top weather reporting. Don't make unnecessary journeys. Don't take risks on treacherous roads. And don't swim in the sea. Incredibly, people have been spotted in the water here in Black Rock and Salt Hill both today and yesterday. Galway City Council say their actions are idiotic not only are they putting their lives in danger but it is unacceptable and unforgivable to put the lives of people in the rescue services at danger as well okay tracy we'll leave it there and let you go thank you i mean what if we were this animated about everything we did or everybody that we talk about for instance young thug don't make unnecessary music don't get caught in a women's wardrobe and please swim in the sea and never return. Or if we went with Raven Simone. Raven Simone, don't make unnecessary comments. Don't kill the few brain cells that you have left. Your comments are idiotic. You're not only killing the brain cells do you have, you're killing ours as well. Hello, please. Next recipient is Supreme Court Judge Scalia that suggests that black people belong at slower schools. You know, Usain Bolt might have something to say about that, sir. Yes, Mr. Scalia is currently dealing with the situation of Fisher versus University of Texas in which a very, 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 very slow young lady whose mental state is sort of like veggie delight is claiming reverse 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 discrimination that's right she didn't get in because of those blackies never mind the fact that she wasn't qualified or the fact that the 45 students that happened to get in that had a lower grade than her or a lower gpa 42 of those were caucasian and only three were black and the rest of the black people that got in smashed her gpa and sat scores Let's forget all of that. Nah, it's definitely Blackie holding her short butt shorty ass down. So for a judge sitting on the highest court in the land suggesting that um, blacks belong at a slower school, 
got a problem with that. I mean, he is about to be 80 next year. Maybe his glory days of going to the drive-in lynching and Blacks walking by and calling him Mr. Massa, maybe? And Blacks not being able to get an equal education because of, you know, actual racism and not reverse racism. Maybe he's reliving the glory days. All of that is at the forefront of his mind currently. You know, for him, the important stuff. Hello, please! Last up is a senator in Michigan that is blaming the poor performance on schools on him not being able to change the African-American population into white students. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Do you kind of see a theme here? I mean, let's not blame systematic racism or the school-to-prison pipeline or lack of educational funding or people just actually giving a damn about schools and those special areas. No, nope. let's just blame God for not giving the senator a reverse melanin marker that he can run through the schools and just saying, hey, Tag, you're white now. The fuck, the fuck, the fuck is in the air. The fuck, there's white shit everywhere. The fuck, I must be fucking baked and this shit's probably fake. The fucking hell did I just take the fuck? Hello, please. I want to keep this last bit of uh, Friday wrap up a little bit short. Talk about C.J. Pearson, a young conservative that made a video not too long ago bashing Obama and some of his policies or lack thereof is now back in the news because he switched from the conservative side to the I feel the burn side, Bernie Sanders. It really slays me how the right wing nut jobs gave this young man praise when he came out against Obama. And now all of a sudden that he switched to the dark side, he's just another N word. That's right. The right wing nut jobs are calling this young man the N word and saying he doesn't know anything. It's mighty funny considering how you were backing him and posting this video all over the web and making it viral because he was bashing Obama and he just happened to be considered black. It's sickening to me and sad that you want to bash a 13 year old that no longer agrees with your views. Trump and the entire GOP for the most part is a cesspool of racism, bigotry, xenophobia and just ignorance all the way around. And now that this 13 year old has figured that out and you want to bash him for it. CJ woke up and he smelled what the GOP is cooking and it's some shitlings. And he doesn't want any parts of that. So why do you? How about this? Where about the unarmed black Americans that are being shot in the back by police officers in Chicago? And less worrying about a 13 year old's opinion of the GOP and switching sides. That's just my two cents on it. That's Friday wrap up, people. I guess I will see you next week. Peace out.